the channel. This is Technoscope. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the second episode of the Project Sledgehammer build. Uh, it's been probably, it's been about two months now since I got the first part in, which was the motherboard. Uh, this computer build is very expensive, so there was no way I was going to be able to get all the parts at once. But I finally have all the components in, uh, so here we go with episode number two. This is the case. This case was provided by Case Labs, and if you don't know, Case Labs ships their things exactly like IKEA does. Uh, basically, I have to assemble this, and once this is finished, uh, that will conclude episode two, and we will move on to the other episodes. Uh, this right here is what I've been waiting for. Uh, case Lab cases are very high demand, so when you order one, you have to wait. Uh, it's about four to five weeks. Uh, this one actually took me just about four and a half weeks to get it from the day that I ordered. So uh, very high demand. If you want to get one, you have to plan well in advance, which is what I did. But uh, a couple weeks later than I should have, I guess. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and assemble this. This video is probably going to be longer than the new five average five to six minute um, uh limit that I placed on it but Project Sledgehammer is a special case no pun intended uh but um I'm not I'm not really interested in doing the time limits on, on this build uh these build logs uh this particular computer right here that I'm building is going to be the computer that is going to run my business Twisted Curve Productions from now on for hopefully for years to come so let's go ahead and get into this So what we're going to do go ahead, is go ahead and assemble this case. Um, it should be straightforward. Uh, most of the components I recognize just from the pictures that I've seen online. I've admired and studied this case for quite a while. This is the Case Labs Mercury S8 uh, case model, including the optional pedestal and uh, the, I don't know if you can see it, the wheels, they're in plastic, so. Uh, the casters caster kit that goes along with it so that it can roll and move easily the case alone was shipped to me with a shipping weight of 32 pounds and all of this stuff is made out of light aluminum so you can imagine how uh, robust this case is going to be now normally you, if you've seen my other videos you know normally I don't read instruction manuals but in this particular case because Again, no point in seeing it. Uh, in this particular situation, I'm going to go ahead and read the manual because this is, uh, number one, a very special uh, computer case, and number two, it is very expensive, and I don't want to mess up anything. Uh, but like I said, it seems fairly straightforward. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into this. Now, you might have noticed that I got this camera right here behind me. And basically the point of having this camera is so that you can see the things that are over my shoulder or um, see the uh, table better than just the forward looking uh, view. And this is a 1080p camera. This is the old camera that I used to record with before I got the GH4. Uh, so. The quality, of course, is not as good as the GH4, obviously, um, but I think it'll do for this. Um, this is a letter that they typed up and sent to me, um, basically thanking me for my order. Uh, tell them they ensure 100% order accuracy, blah, 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 you know, the good old stuff. And that I have 15 days um, to report any damage, basically. Um, yeah, so and here's a checklist of the work that was done with the computer. Uh basically um they pick order I'm guessing and they sign off on that everything was in the 
was in the package and looks like they had somebody double check it so that's that's really awesome that's something you'd really like to have when uh, somebody is uh, paying this much money for a case and you, know, you can see my customizations and stuff on here as well uh, but yeah so let's go ahead and start with this manual step number one of 10 steps it must have a lot of steps a lot of things included in each step so i need to take the bottom and the rear of the case and put those together Look at this bag of accessories that, that comes with this. Really hope they have all these labeled. <laughs> it's a bag of spare parts. That's pretty cool. Now you can see the, the thickness of this aluminum and the quality of this build, you would understand why these cases cost what they do and why they take so long to make. Oh my goodness. Just for the record, I do have a drill. This is not something you use a drill or a power screwdriver on. You do this by hand and you take your time. I'm sorry about the lens flare. Did you see, I tried adjusting the camera and adjusting the camera and adjusting the camera, and really, there's no way to get this angle without moving the lights, and that would help. That would hurt the rest of the footage. So, unfortunately, in this angle, it has to has to have the lens flare. Just think of it as a Michael Bay production. One of the only two things that I don't like about uh, this case, and that's just more of nitpicking than anything else, is this fan grill. This honeycomb shape. Um, it's fine and everything, it looks nice and everything, but I'd rather they had used the circular cutouts like they use right here. Because if there was a 140 cutout right here, I could put a mesh grill up there like I'm going to do down here, and it would match better. And plus, there, I have reasons for using a mesh grill. I'll discuss that when I get to the fan video. But unfortunately, it's not. It wasn't an option, but like I said, it's, it's just kind of nitpicking. I, I, I can live. It'll be okay.
I'm gonna skip number five, which says to attach the case feet because this case actually has the pedestal. So I'm gonna follow the instructions that go with the pedestal. So here's the motherboard tray. Um, now, if you get the um, the case that has, if you, when you order your case, you you have two choices of motherboard uh, trays. There's a standard tray, and then there's this tray, which is the SSI EEB. Um, the longer tray basically for bigger motherboards and because my motherboard is actually SSI EEB that's the one I ordered so this one actually came with its own set of screws so I'm guessing that's what you use to mount the motherboard tray looks like two screws on this side two on the other side this is designed so that you can remove this tray install your motherboard and then um, put the tray back in with the motherboard already mounted to it. Now this piece here is an option. You can get it with the USB ports or without. I chose to get it with them because I use a lot of flash drives and I'd rather not have hubs and things everywhere. I'd rather be able to use this. Now, if you can recall, my old computer didn't natively support USB 3.0, so I don't have USB 3.0 ports on the front, but this one will. I'm gonna begin hard to see me now, because this is a fairly large case. Even as small as it looks in the pictures. I was worried this case would actually be too small based on the pictures they showed. But it's certainly like it's going to be more than adequate. So here's the switch plate that goes on the front. Oh, and look at the quality of these cables. I don't know if you can see that. They're braided. Braided high quality cables. Okay, so we got that mounted on there. Let's go ahead and go to the next step. All right. So all that's left is to put the panels on there. And there are a few more options on this one. <clears throat> For instance, One of the options I got was to get the hard drive um, caddies, which use these little rubber grommets to slide into the bottom. <clears throat> this is a plate that goes on that, that uh, where the fan hole was in that center section. If you want to use that, I don't because I'll actually put a fan there.
Is it these holes that are to the rear? I think this is the front. I think these are the rear. I think this is where the cables connect. Been so long, I don't remember. And there's your pedestal. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the case for Sledgehammer.
Aeroscope is a twisted curve production.